Hey y'all, it's your girl, Presidential Lily, your favorite Lily, and we are back for another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I revive my client's wig. So if you're interested in seeing how I do so, please keep on watching. So right here, I'm just showing you guys what the wig looks like, how the hair looks. Basically, I'm just showing you before all the magic happens. So the first thing you want to do is brush out and detangle the hair thoroughly before putting this hair in any kind of water. It is always best to go ahead and detangle the hair before placing it in any kind of water because the water can go ahead and lock in any tangles that are already in the hair. So once you get the hair fully detangled, you're going to go ahead and stop up your sink and turn on your hot water and begin to fill up your sink. Make sure that the hot water is all the way up. You only want to use hot water. You want this water to be extremely, extremely hot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place the hair into the hot water. What this does is the hot water is gonna go ahead and break up any dirt in any product that is in the hair and on the cap, which is what we want to do. We want to ensure that all the dirt is off the cap, especially just because that's what touches the client's head. So after letting the hair sit for 30 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and drain the water out the sink and I'm going to begin the process of washing and conditioning the hair. These steps are very, very, very important. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some shampoo and begin a nice lather in the hair. I want to wash this hair once, so I'm going to go ahead and use my brush to go ahead and thoroughly clean out the hair. So this part right here is very, 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 very vital. This is a wig. A client wears a wig. This is a spandex dome cap. So that means your client sheds, your dirt stays under there. I know you guys seen the dirt in the beginning of the video. So please, 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 please be sure to always put shampoo to the cap and clean it and wash it and scrub it. Take your time with doing this because you do not want any mildew or mold on to grow on the cap and then touch your client's head. That is very, like, dangerous, clearly, guys. So once you feel that your unit is completely clean, you can go ahead and rinse it. I use half hot, half cold. It gets the shampoo out the hair quicker. Hot water promotes bubbles, cold water doesn't. But you still need that hot water to get all the dirt off. Just a tip from your girl, Lily. Okay, guys? Okay. Now I'm going to take my conditioner and place it throughout the hair, making sure that I massage it into the hair and get it on each and every strand. As you guys can see, I'm very generous when it comes to the conditioner. I just want this hair to be very, very moisturized. 
And this is where I'm going to go ahead and start adding in this tea tree oil because the ends of the hair were specifically dry. So I want to go ahead and put all my focus into those ends and add that extra oil. So once you have all your conditioner and oil worked into the hair, you're going to go ahead and place your, the hair into two Walmart bags. In my case, I have Food Lion bags. You can use Kroger bags. Any grocery store bags will work. I like to double mine for the extra heat and steam. Then we're going to go place the hair in the microwave for two minutes at a time with two minute breaks in between. You want to give the bag some rest. So once your hair is out the microwave, I tend to do it, run it in the microwave for three, three times at two minutes. So then you're going to go ahead and let the hair soak in some cold water. This is just allowing the cuticles of the hair to close. Once letting it sit for about 10-15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take the hair out the bag and start to rinse it with the cool water. Again, the cool water is going to go ahead and close the cuticles of the hair sealing in and locking in all the conditioner and oil that we wanted to get into the hair moisturizing it very 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 well and here's the hair just rinsed out after the whole process as you can see it's really really shiny it looks really healthy So here's what the hair looks like after I placed it in the bag and let it dry. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video.